Hello everyone, I'm Santiago Santiago and today I'm going to be testing the Heavy Rain demo on the Ryzen 3 2200G with the Vega 8 integrated graphics. To skip to any of the resolutions tested, check the timestamps down in the description. And if you want to support the channel by buying games for yourself, check the Humble and Amazon affiliate links down in the description as well. So now three of the Quantic Dream games are coming to PC, Heavy Rain, Beyond Two Souls and Detroit Become Human. They will be on the Epic Games Store, but it seems that they are coming to Steam later on as well. The good news about this is that all those three games are getting free demos, which is what I'm testing here. That's something that should happen more often nowadays, it makes it easier for people to decide on getting the game or not, or test the performance. The full game releases next month, so I expect what you see here to be how the full game performs. I selected the level with a lot of rain and NPCs on screen. I remember back on the PS3 that in this area I really noticed drops in performance. In the options menu, in order to improve performance, first lower multi-sampling AA and ambient occlusion. In all cases, I get a decent boost by lowering those. Then depending on the scene, shadow quality and reflection quality will impact performance in different ways. So if there's a lot of reflections on screen, the reflection option will help. And if there's dynamic shadows, then lowering shadows will help. This changes from from level to level. In ambient occlusion, HDAO runs better than HVAO, and I like that they allow us to combine both MSAA and post process AA. It makes the game look a lot cleaner, at least in my opinion. Considering that this was first a PS3 game, it makes sense that we're getting this performance. We get the improvements of the PS4 edition with 60 FPS as a maximum and a good amount of options to choose from. And one last thing before I go, it's pretty much quick time events plus dialogue choices. Nothing like precise aiming going on. I don't really mind being below 60 in this case, but as always, to each their own. Anyway guys, that's about it. I hope you keep enjoying the video. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Well, are you coming, Jaden? So, what happened? Some guy taking his dog for a piss found a body about 6 o'clock this morning. We don't know much more right now. Based on what we've seen, looks like the work of the origami killer. Any witnesses? None yet. Given the neighborhood, I'd be surprised if anybody saw anything. Any news on the coroner? He's on his way, Lieutenant. We've been waiting for an hour, for fuck's sake. There are a lot of people on the crime scene. Aren't you afraid your men might destroy some clues? You don't find proof sitting behind a desk. We're not in the habit of trampling things into the ground, even if we're not in the FBI. No, no, of course not. That's, that's not what I meant. Listen, you look busy. Do you mind if I have a look around? Be my guest. Hey, Jaden, you come and see me if you find anything, okay? We're on the same team now. Strange character, that Blake. Didn't seem too pleased to see me. I'm soaking wet. The body is still here. There's a railroad track near where the body is left. Same as all the other victims. Harry, comment. The victim is lying on his back. No visible signs of violence. An orchid was placed on the victim's chest. A small origami figure in the right hand. Fingers were probably closed after the time of death. The victim is Jeremy Bowles. Declared missing five days ago. See reference file. Superficial wound on the right thigh. Blood analysis suggests it could be post-mortem. Probably a scratch that occurred when the body was being moved. The blood report indicates an advanced and long-lasting state of exhaustion. His face is covered with mud, like the other victims. This 
zone is sectioned off, sir. Please step back. Agent Norman Jaden, FBI. You got a badge or something, Mr. Jaden? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Check. You can pass. I'm looking for Lieutenant Blake. Is he around? I saw him arrive earlier. He's here somewhere. Thanks. Video memo recording, Agent 47023, Norman Jaden, Tuesday, October 4, 2011. Time is 8.14 a.m. Lieutenant Blake, I'm Agent Norman Jaden from the FBI. I went by your office this morning. They told me to be here. Now, if you're looking for rain, dead bodies, and highways, you come to the right place. Mike, will you tell that asshole with the bulldozer to stop for five minutes? I can't hear myself think here. Right away, Lieutenant. Well, are you coming, Jaden? So, what happened? Some guy taking his dog for a piss found a body about 6 o'clock this morning. We don't know much more right now. Based on what we've seen, looks like the work of the origami killer. Jaded! Listen, I can see you busy. I'll just have a look around if you don't mind. Be my guest. Hey, Jaden. You come and see me if you find anything, okay? We're on the same team now. There's a railroad track near where the body was left. Same as all the other victims. I'm soaking wet. Strange character that Blake didn't seem to. Harry comment: the victim is lying on his back. No visible signs of violence. An orchid was placed on the victim's chest. Superficial wound on the right thigh. Blood analysis suggests it could be post-mortem. Probably a scratch that occurred when the body was being moved. The blood report indicates an advanced and long-lasting state of exhaustion. His face is covered with mud like the other victims. A small origami figure in the right hand. Fingers were probably closed after the time of death. The victim is Jeremy Bowles, declared missing five days ago. See reference file. Orchid pollen detected, probably from the flower left on the body. The zone is sectioned off, sir. Please step back. Agent Norman Jaden, FBI. You got a badge or something, Mr. Jaden? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Check. You can pass.
Video memo recording, Agent 47023, Nam and Jaden, Tuesday, October 4th, 2011. Time is 8.14 a.m. Lieutenant Blake, I'm Agent Norman Jaden from the FBI. I went by your office this morning, they told me to be here. Now if you're looking for rain, dead bodies, and highways, you come to the right place. Mike, will you tell that asshole with the bulldozer to stop for five minutes? I can't hear myself think here. Right away, Lieutenant. Well, are you coming, Jaden? So, what happened? Some guy, taking his dog for a piss, found a body about 6 o'clock this morning. We don't know much more right now. Based on what we've seen, looks like the work of the origami killer. Jaded! Listen, I can see you busy. I'll just have a look around if you don't mind. Be my guest! Hey, Jaden. You come and see me if you find anything, okay? We're on the same team now. Harry comment, the victim is lying on his back. No visible signs of violence. The zone is sectioned off, sir. Please step back. Agent Norman Jaden, FBI. You got a badge or something, Mr. Jaden? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Check. You can pass. I'm looking for Lieutenant Blake. Is he around? I saw him arrive earlier. He's here somewhere. Thanks. Video memo recording, Agent 47023, Norman Jaden, Tuesday, October 4th, 2011. Time is 8.14 a.m. Lieutenant Blake, I'm Agent Norman Jaden from the FBI. I went by your office this morning, they told me to be here. Now if you're looking for rain, dead bodies, and highways, you come to the right place. Mike, will you tell that asshole with the bulldozer to stop for five minutes? I can't hear myself think here. Right away, Lieutenant. Well, are you coming, Jaden? So, what happened? Some guy, taking his dog for a piss, found a body about 6 o'clock this morning. We don't know much more right now. Based on what we've seen, looks like the work...